Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. On this channel, I try all things knife making. Watch as I grow to a better knife maker and hopefully help you as well. I recently got a custom order. They wanted me to use obsidian in the knife handle somehow. So I decided I'm gonna do an obsidian inlay handle. I'm using this Kiot wood. I've never tried it before. I'm gonna mark for this back that I want to handle the, I like to round it. So I don't wanna go past that line. Just give me a reference point. I'm gonna slowly drill into the wood. I use the slowest setting on the my drill press. I used to try and get it done quick. A lot of times it'll overheat the wood. And you can cause splitting in the wood. Body is a lot safer if you just go slowly. Now I'm using the front part of the wood. I'm just rounding it. I don't like it when it just cuts off all of a sudden on the handle, so I like the rounded look better. On um, my, I use stainless steel pins, and I, I taper them so they'll fit into the, the holes of the tang a lot easier. And I make sure the part that's sticking out, I hammer it in so it's not a, a tapered look. And right now I'm just doing a test fit. I want to make sure the pins go in. worst thing is you're going to uh, attach the handle you have the epoxy on and you find the pins don't fit I like to do this and it also helps I mean you're shaping the handle with the pins in you get you get a lot more done on the grinder before you epoxy I've had a couple times where I didn't do any work before so when it's epoxy I'm just heating it up too much, heating up the epoxy, and I've actually had pieces of the handle shoot off. I don't know if that's because it's too hot. Um, but this is just a lot safer. Before I actually epoxy the handle, I clean everything with rubbing alcohol. This gets rid of any dust, so you just get a better better fit and a better hold. I have this new way of measuring the epoxies and I just I'd use circles. So I'm, this one I did three circles. So I'm going to do three with this one. If you want to get as equal as amount as you can, I found this is the best way. Mix it up really good, get a uniform color. I know that it's mixed properly. Now I know that the pins are gonna go through just fine because I did that test fit. I'm gonna hammer in the pins a little bit farther so I don't have that tapered Part on the end. I used to do a lot of clamps and I found I don't need as many as I was doing so I like to do three or four. Try to get all the middle, the front, the back part of the knife all have a clamp on it. And I have a little clamp that I put on the top. Now this is the obsidian. I have a couple pieces I'm going to use. I've never used them before. I'm gonna break them up and see what it looks like. As I'm breaking them, they're almost like glass, the shards that come off. I have to break them up even smaller. I'm trying to get a little pebble shape pieces. 
It looked really cool when I broke it. See all the shards just flying right off. Here's all the pieces I've got. They're not quite small enough. I'm gonna have to make them a little smaller when I actually start using them. I leave excess pins when I epoxy. So I'm just gonna go cut off the excess I don't need and I can use those for a different knife. I'm gonna clean it up just a little bit, get all the epoxy off, spilled over. You have to be careful, <laughs> those pins heat up, they get really hot. I got a little imprint of the pin in my thumb. That happens more than it should. Start working on shaping the handle and I forget the pins are heating up. I'm using a little Dremel. There's parts of the handle it's really hard to get on my grinder. So I haven't rounded it at all. I'm gonna wait to do that later. I've got it as shaped as I want on the grinder. I'm gonna mark where I wanna put the grooves in for the obsidian. I'm gonna use a rounded file. Start with a smaller one and I'll work my way up. I'm gonna get them I don't want them too deep, but I want it deep enough so that the pieces will fit in. So when I glue it, half of the obsidian pieces will be sitting in the glue, half won't. And I'm, I'm gonna grind those off later so I can make it all smooth and flush with the rest of the handle. Did a test fit. They still weren't quite as small as I wanted. So I'm using the mortar pestle to get them just a little bit smaller. I'm using a really fast setting glue. I'm just gonna sprinkle them all over the handle, make sure it gets in. I put the glue on top as well, let this dry. I went to the grinder and I tried and they just all the pieces shot out, so now I'm going to use epoxy. This should work a lot better. I was hoping the glue would work because it's clear. The epoxy has a little bit, it's kind of a yellow color. I should be able to sand all that out anyways. Alright, it's been 24 hours. Now I'm going to grind the rest of the knife, make everything flush. And after I get everything smooth and how I want it on the grinder, then I'll start hand sanding it and get everything nice and smooth and polished up. See everything smooth. There's some stain marks from the glue. I'll be able to get that off with hand sanding. I like to start with a long strip. And I sand it in this way so that it, it'll just round all the edges. I'll put it in my vise, sand every side like this, this long strip of sandpaper. Then I'll go to smaller pieces to get everything nice and smooth. I start with a, about 100 grit sandpaper and I work my way up to 2,000. They're tiny little pieces of sawdust in between the obsidian, so I used a toothbrush and I kept sanding. I've got the handle how I want, so I'm just going to use my gator belt to finish up the blade. Using boiled linseed oil to go over the handle and the obsidian to really shine it up. Alright guys, let me know if you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this, trying different handles, hit that like button, subscribe, I'll see you in the next video.